few teams live up to their name as much as Impact did. Because no team would walk away from esports leaving as large of an impact on a community as Impact did, and watching the team fall apart left a crater in the hearts of fans. Impact was a player's team, one of the first teams to prove that Call of Duty was anyone's game. They proved anyone could be a champion if they just had a sense of teamwork and respect for one another, values that Impact proved to be a role model of. So how did Impact's rise begin, and what happened to this once powerful team? Because Impact rose at a pace second to none, and fell dramatically, symbolically following the same path as the team's logo. The team's legacy would begin here, with a roster of Killa, Karma, John, and Too Quick, and with the exception of Killer and John's time on Fear, none of the players had played for a notable COD team in their careers. Their first appearance would be on an online tournament hosted by Machinima, called Frag Cup 4. The third place finish that Impact would earn here would get their careers rolling. But the squad's successes would not end there. They'd take their talents to UMG Chicago, where they'd come up third as you see here in this game against OpTic. Rico Impact should be able to take this one. Mathematically, we will not see OpTic coming back. They're just going to let the time run out here is what it looks like. The contest What's coming up, in from everyone? Nate. Diesel here with Esports Nation. Right beside me, a man who obviously needs no introduction in this community. Christopher Parasite Duarte. What is up, man? These two back-to-back -back third place finishes helped Impact move up the ladder on the Frico status, and they would eventually find themselves with some roster mania of their own. They would go ahead and add Miracles and Parasite to their roster in exchange for the release of Too Quick and John. The team would then set themselves on a path for MLG Dallas. Here the newly formed Frico Impact roster would lose in a qualifier to Fear. This would push the team to its limits as they struggled to get along after the loss but quickly returned to form, with Parasite leading the team from then after. Frico needs to get a big kill and he just got one on Assassin, 3 on 3 situation. And look at this, Moho on a big flank could be coming behind multiple players, Parasite taking one. some damage. And Mo is gonna get one. Left all up to Miracles now. Trying to challenge out the engine. He picks up one. Oh. Can't get the second. And there you have it. Fear, they're gonna close it out against Fariko. Winning round 11. Search and straight on Meltdown. Great play. There you have the Rage Quits incoming from Fariko. Fear secures their spot in the championship bracket at Dallas. And there goes the host. <laughs> we can't even see the final scoreboard, but you know Moho was on top. After three days and hundreds of matches played here live in Dallas, Texas, we are down to our final two teams. Despite the loss, despite the struggles, Impact then put themselves on a grind as they continued to pursue an MLG Dallas appearance. And the grind before MLG Dallas put the team onto the start of the greatest run in Call of Duty Esports history, and it's likely a streak that we will never see repeated again. They found themselves at MLG Dallas, with a number one seed and with the beginning of a storybook tale in front of them. In the entirety of the tournament, they would drop just two maps, both to unite in the championship. In it's the done. It's Huddle versus all four members of Fariko. Miracles is going to finish it, and Fariko will stop the momentum from Unite Gaming. Here is Miracles in the final kill camp. The grenade Ooh, to sticks the to his to the face. face. That's in my top five, ladies oh, and gents. Yeah. Here, Impact would finally put away Unite on Raid, Search, and Destroy, as time and time again in the future, Frico Impact would prove that when it mattered the most, they could play intense S&D. Kill is the last one, Unite versus Slack. Unite Slack versus Frico Kill. Who is going to take it home? Slack needing to go huge, and he cannot do it. Frico is going to be your winter champions. Wow, what? play coming out of Rico. Well, it feels amazing. I've been working at this for years and years, and I've been told so many times by so many people that I would never win anything important and that I wasn't as good as people thought, and it feels really good to prove them wrong. I'm really proud of my team, and honestly, I couldn't ask for a better squad or a better group of guys. They would take their newfound momentum with them to EGL9, where in Europe they would pull out yet another championship victory over Cloud. And again, over. the game now would come down to S and D. Final over. Impact. Take away EGL9 in yep. absolutely amazing fashion. They won in Dallas. 
They've won here in the United Kingdom. And you know what? These guys are true, true champions. I'm really looking forward to seeing exactly how they're going to play over in the Call of Duty Championships yep. in LA in less than seven days' time. They really are a squad to look out for. Next would be COD Champs. An impact would begin to eye the $400,000 first place prize. In COD Champs, Impact's Black Ops 2 dominance would continue. After being placed in a bracket filled with talented teams, Impact would take down British superpower Epsilon, followed by wins over Soar and Optic before finally losing in round 11 of Search and Destroy in Game 5 against Envy. Impact seeked revenge though, and after a loser's bracket win once again over Optic, Impact would meet Envy in the championship. For Rico, take the game and the fourth map, 3-1 all the way down to the wire there, guys. Just held it off so well. Optic needed to float that hard point, they just didn't do it. For Rico held it down so well. Parasite with your final kill cam there, picking up the two-piece with a shotgun. Then, history would find itself the moment that no Treyarch sympathizer could ever forget. In arguably the most intense Call of Duty matchup of all time, Impact would take Envy to the 11th map in an unforgettable game on Meltdown. There, in the 10th round of Search and Destroy, Killer would be placed in a 1v1 against Proofy, which would go down to define his career. 4v2 situation, Envy has to win this round in order to stay in it. Miracle takes up, picks up two, big makes play. it 2v2, gets taken out by Stainville, just Killer alive. It's a 1v1, Proofy versus Killer. The bomb is down for Mariko, shots fired. Killer trying to desperately take out Proofy. Proofy has away. to go out and defuse it. Killer gonna draw him out. Two kills, oh, so close so to a weak. championship. It's all hanging on this one kill. 12 seconds left on the clock. Proofy has to go back. Killer's gonna have to chase Proofy. Proofy has to go for the defuse He's here. He's done it. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. He does it. We have a champion. The championship. Mariko, your winner here. The Call of Duty Championship winner. Impact had found themselves with three consecutive tournament wins, and the team seemed unstoppable. And after COD Champs, they found their fan base swelling. Impact became Competitive Gaming's greatest show on LAN and remained second to none. Almost shockingly, Impact's success continued. Their dominance would continue at UMG St. Louis, and once again, they managed to defeat Envy in the finals. It all seemed too good to be true, and all good things do come to an end after a while. Whether fans could see it or not, the end of Impact began at MLG Anaheim. And there you have it folks, Icon's Impact closing out Optic Gaming 6-1 to one here in your lower bracket final. Here at MLG Anaheim, Impact departed Frico and began to operate under the banner Icon's Impact. Despite having fought their way through a bracket with a win over Epsilon and back-to-back 3-0s against Unite and Optic, troubles still lingered in front of Impact as they found a new enemy in complexity. The series of events that occurred at COD Champs appeared to begin to repeat themselves at MLG Anaheim. Complexity defeated Impact, bumping them down to the loser's bracket. Then in the loser's bracket semifinals, Impact once again faced Optic Gaming, but it was there on Meltdown Search and Destroy, where history didn't repeat itself. Impact choked on a map that they had so many times won before. Crim6 and Aegs have the front unlocked. TP watching the flank. One kill away now, and Crim is going to do it! That is it! Complexity takes out Impact, and they are crowned the winners of MLG Anaheim. Something that no one thought could be done. Could Impact ever lose? to anybody in Call of Duty. It was here at MLG Anaheim that the new powerhouse, the new franchise was formed, and Complexity's success would continue all the way into a COD Ghosts World Championship. Impact would play their last tournament as a team at Gfinity 1, where they would come up fourth and were forced to watch Complexity once again claim another first place victory. As fast as Impact had rose, it had fallen. It's gonna be a tie game. Crimson's with one kill. He gets shut down. TP got him big on the hill as 217, well. 217, 217. Oh Complexity has the lead, but there's still time for impact. Karma getting in, challenging. And, and oh miracles. no, Miracles jumping miracles. in. A huge two-piece from Miracles is gonna put him in the, the as well. But no, Complexity can't.
keeps flooding the hill. Glazer and friends, all they need to they do need is to contest. Kill. Five seconds, it's not going to happen. Oh my goodness. That is going to be Grim complexity. Contest. Oh my god. Complexity celebrates. Yet, these players, Killer, Karma, Merrix, and Parasite, would continue storybook careers that would never have been possible without Impact, and probably also never possible without Fariko. A team united under a public community had found their way to the top of the ladder on Call of Duty Esports. The team broke up after Gfinity, with Karma going to Envy and the rest of the team joining Epsilon. Eventually during the Ghost season, those three players would once again join Curse Elvi with a roster of Parasite, Merrix, and Killa. After their Curse roster failed to qualify for the Call of Duty World Championship, one would be led to believe that things were simply over for Impact. But they weren't. Then Sensor dropped the bomb that Parasite was gone. He did wish him the best of luck in Advanced Warfare, but the tweet coming from Apathy really gave us some insight. We decided to part ways with Parasite. He's a cool guy, but we decided it would be better for us. Hope everything goes well with Impact. You heard that right. Impact. The most entertaining esports team that ever lived. Check my bank account. I play the game. You watch me play the game. Oh my God, if this is real, prayers, prayers, prayers. It was here during the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare season, Noble Esports made a move for the history books. They dropped their entire roster in order to acquire the entire Impact roster, with the exception of Karma. But things didn't work out for Noble Impact. They would play just few competitive games, one seen here against Fear. The team would find themselves heading to MLG Columbus, but they would head there without Parasite. Parasite had made the decision to depart the team for personal reasons. Noble would then go on a quick rush to find a replacement for Parasite. They would find that possible replacement in Spacely. But things failed to materialize for the team, and after an extremely poor finish at MLG Columbus, they sold their rights to their Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Season 1 access back to the team that they had bought their Ghost Pass from, Elevate. And with that, Noble Impact was put to rest, and possibly Impact as a whole. Another impact comeback is unlikely, but the team will still live on in the memories of everyone who appreciated the Black Ops 2 competitive scene. No team better defined Black Ops 2 than Impact, and the impact that the team had on esports will never be forgotten. If Impact proved anything, it was that they proved that Call of Duty Esports was not an exclusive club. It was a club that was open to the ones who deserved to be there. No matter what team you were a part of, if you had the right chemistry, the right skill, and an unselfish playstyle, you had a shot. Call of Duty is anyone's game. And maybe, just maybe, the next Treyarch title, Black Ops 3, will be Impact's game. You never know. I have been to 65 plus tournaments in my life. None have had a better conclusion than what we just saw here for Rico Impact. They came in. They won MLG Dallas two weeks ago. Last weekend, they were over in Europe winning EGL 9. This weekend, they come in, they start off with a 3-0 sweep of their group on Friday. On Saturday, they find themselves with the toughest bracket of any team, taking down Optic Gaming, Complexity, and now Envious on that list. Rico Impact is undeniably the best team in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 right now.